Welcome everybody to this 11th International Conference on Sport and Society on behalf of the conference co-chair. We would like to extend our thanks to the organizational team which have been able to adapt this conference in light of the current situation caused by COVID-19 pandemic, enabling us to try the experiences in relation to our health and well-being during this challenging time. To tell you the truth, we would love to have been welcoming you here in situ in Granada. This university has almost 500 years of history and it is the fourth largest university in Spain. The 2019 Shanghai Academic Ranking of World Universities placed the University at Granada as the number one university in the south of Spain and as the fourth highest ranked institution at national level. The ranking also shows the University of Granada to be one of the top 50 in the world top sports science. But Granada is more than just a university. Granada is a lovely place. It is placed in a sectional geographical location just 40 minutes from the Mediterranean coast and 30 from the Sierra Nevada ski resort. Granada also has a palace and fortress complex, which is among one of the most outstanding examples of Islamic architecture in the world and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The special focus of this conference playful minds, physical activity, social potential, cultural setting. It's a very important topic for the lives of everyday people and even more so now given the current situation. Level of physical activity are in decline and our life is becoming more sedentary every day. As a result, more people are increasingly suffering from related health problems such as cardiovascular diseases, hypertension, diabetes and obesity. But physical activity is not just important for physical health, it is also crucial for mental health, with case depression, anxiety and low self-esteem increasing around the world over recent years among both the general population and high performance elites. During these days at the conference, we will have the chance to share strategies to improve pathways grounded in the social dimension and cultural setting of physical activity and also to analyze strategies that could regulate participation in leisure and elite sport at national and international levels. Over the next two days, we'll have the pleasure of hearing from one of the world's uh, leading thinkers and innovators in the field. Professor Jonathan Reed, PhD in exercise physiology from the University of Granada in Spain and PhD in medical science from Karolinska Institute in Sweden, he has earned numerous scholarships during his career, being the first researcher of the prestigious Ramon Cajal program. His research career is based on the impact of regular physical activity on cardiovascular health, obesity and type 2 diabetes. He has published more than 400 articles in the area of physical activity and health, and he has received more than 30 national and international awards. Dr. Emily Knox is currently a researcher at the Andalusian School of Public Health and a member of the PROMECO Research Group for Infant Nutrition and Metabolism at the University of Granada. She received a double honors degree in sport, exercise and health science from University of Bath, United Kingdom, and a PhD in behavioral medicine from Loughborough University, United Kingdom. Her research is focused on behavior change, policy, diet and nutrition, well-being, and self-esteem, and physical activity and health. Dr. Guillermo Lopez Sanchez is a postdoctoral researcher who has carried out research placements in different countries such as Czech Republic, Italy, India, Poland and England. He received his PhD from the University of Murcia, Spain, obtained a PhD award for excellence for his thesis. His research is focused on body composition, physical activity and health in children and adolescents. Dr. Veronica Varela Mato is a postdoctoral researcher at Loughborough University. She received her PhD in physical activity and cardiovascular health at the same university. Her research focuses on occupational environments, lifestyle and health strategies to reduce risk amongst those most in need. Her research has received international recognition 
and has been shortlisted for a number of international awards. We would like to finish this welcoming speech without thanking all those who have made this event possible through their support in the current circumstances. Special thanks to our colleagues, Dr. Jose Luis Ortega Martin and Dr. Tatiana Pornova. Thanks to the plenary speakers, Common Ground, and all of you who are participating virtually around the world. Many thanks, and we hope that next year we will be able to host you at the 12th International Conference on Sports Society taking place in June 2021.